So I can take no home. No. The three code of conduct Sugar Ray Robinson Award. If you ain't ready for this life, get the, get the out of my, out sport. my sport. You weren't able to cut off the ring. What could you have done better tonight to, to get him to engage? <laughs> I had to get two guys fly, so they, they could jump him. Because <laughs> honestly, I got to fly to get these guys. I am a I champion. Am a champion. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, man. The YouTube. It's your boy Cozy from Boxing with Chris. And this is another episode of The Casual Boxer. Before anything, you know what y'all got to do. Hit the like, hit the, hit the goddamn, goddamn subscribe, subscribe, and tune, and tune into, into the, the work. work. Me and Chris just finished watching a very disappointing, uneventful, might even say boring, boring. Uh, match between Teofimo Lopez and Jermaine Ortiz last night in Las Vegas, Nevada. And boy, I don't know how I feel about that. But we're not going to talk too much about the fight or whatever the hell Teofimo was talking about in that post-fight interview, talking about Egyptian pyramids and pyramids. shit. I don't know what he was on. Must be the CTE. Anyways, but you guys see the title of this video. So, did Jermaine Ortiz run? Now, I see very conflicting views on this. Some people say this was part of his game plan. He made Teofimo look dumb. And in fact, he did make Teofimo look dumb. Teofimo was clearly getting frustrated. And at one point, Teofimo legitimately put his arms down and told him to come to the corner. So it's very obvious that he got him off his game. In that regard, the plan was executed beautifully. However, it's very hard to say that somebody won a fight when they were backing up the entire match. Yes, there were a there were very few punch punches landed by Teofimo, but Jermaine Ortiz did that while simultaneously running a 5K. My boy was running suicides, to corner to corner. He won the match by suicide. Oh my God, bro! Oh hell no, man! What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, boy. My, you get your goddamn ugly. All jokes aside, though. I'm very conflicted because I can see how this could be such a polarizing conclusion, frankly. Now, who, now the judge that scored that 117-111 seriously needs to be drug tested now. Because 117-111 is crazy. I think Chris scored it closer to the second judge. But Chris also gave rounds 4, 8, and 10 as swing rounds because frankly those were the rounds where you really couldn't judge because of the low output and that's what made this match kind of hard to judge because it was just such low output from both fighters that it was just very hard to say this person was the aggressor that person was aggressing even though obviously Teofimo was walking him down constantly during the entire fight trying to get a hit in trying to get something going and he couldn't get anything so it definitely is a reflection on teofimo as well that was a very disappointing performance by teofimo you know correct me if i'm wrong but you know one of the fundamentals of boxing is the ability to cut off the ring and teofimo just did not do that he let him duck dodge and weave you know Jermaine Ortiz put on his best Floyd Mayweather impression and it worked flawlessly. The dude didn't get hit, but the dude also didn't throw a lot of punches himself. So I don't know. From, from my perspective, it could have gone either way. The only thing I disagree with is the 117, 111. That's just asinine. That's not, this is not the kind of boxing that we need to see. And I get it. It's all about the sweet science and everything, but come on. This is ridiculous. Nobody wants to see this shit. Keyshawn Davis knocking out Pajaja was way more entertaining than this fight. And that fight was very one-sided, clearly. I don't know. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. It's your boy Cozy. Here with BWC. Keep it a more 92. And I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.